Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. As you can see in the thumbnail there, yeah, that's my buddies, the squirrels. I put up this squirrel house in the uh, cherry tree in the backyard a long time ago. And I promised everyone that I would show the middle of the winter. And yes, it's the middle of the winter up here in Canada. And I'm going to show you these uh, little, I'd say about a minute clip of my buddies, the squirrels in the backyard. And how they've settled right into, well probably the best squirrel house they've ever seen and uh, they love it so let's just show you this video clip right here of my squirrels there there are two gray squirrels that live in there and of course up here in Canada where I am it's predominantly gray squirrels and black squirrels so let's take a look at this uh, video clip here and then I'll come back and I'm going to show you what I feed these squirrels Isn't that cute? And I mean, I tell you what, why would somebody have a squirrel house in their backyard? Well, I'll get to that and the reasoning all behind this, but let's go out in my shed and I'll show you what I feed them because when I originally made, well, I made some videos of a squirrel feeder and this squirrel feeder kind of hangs up into the tree. I'll put a link down below for some of these videos if you're interested in how to make a squirrel feeder or other feeders, this kind of thing. And, uh, but I originally, well, let's go to the shed and I'll show you what I've been feeding them now compared to before. And, uh, you know, I, I tell you something, these squirrels, they're getting fat. Okay, so let's go in the shed here. And uh, there's one of my bags of corn. And over in the corner here, well, this is my bag of sunflower seeds. And here is bag of uh, corn that's been put in there and as you can see here what I've done is I've mixed the corn with the sunflower seeds so I put three scoops of corn one scoop of sunflower seeds and they love it so let's go in the backyard here and I'm going to show you my uh, suet feeder I made I did a little project on the suet feeder and they've been going crazy over that and uh, a little bit of an addition to my uh, idea of feeding the birds with something that I had for the squirrels and a lot of you that have been following the channel a long time will recognize it and well I've kind of changed things up a bit so let's take a look so here we are in the backyard here and well look right over there what is that that's one of my little buddies right there so anyways this is my new uh, contraption that I built and that's completely squirrel proof. The squirrels can't get up to my feeder. And here's the uh, suet feeder. And you can see that they've been doing a terrific job of uh, eating off of it. And uh, this is my, my old suet feeder. So I get that keeping around. They don't go on this as much as the new one. And here's my bird feeder. And I did add something here. And if you take a look right there, you could see what I've done. And all I've done really is just put a little half a soup can in there just to keep the seeds so they wouldn't just, you know, keep on piling out and piling out and piling out. Because sometimes when it gets really windy, that'll rock back and forth and the seeds will actually just come out. So that's something else that I've done. But if you take a look at this, you just can make one of these so easily yourself. I mean, it's quite easy to make and the birds love it. The suet feeder was a big success this year. So let's go in the garage and I'm gonna to explain to you why you should make one of these squirrel houses. So why should somebody actually make a squirrel house, put it in their backyard? 
Well, this has been a huge success as far as I'm concerned. My idea of actually building, you know, the, uh, the squirrel house turned out terrific. So I just like to, you know, think outside the box here. Instead of, you know, kind of fighting against nature, kind of use it for your own benefit and go along with it. And, and the one thing that I've noticed about squirrels is they're very territorial. And a lot of people have problems, squirrels wanting to get into their attic or, you know, get in their house and that kind of stuff. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> them squirrels back there are like, you know, half pound Rottweilers. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you something. I was just completely amazed at how they deter other squirrels, squirrels from coming near my property because they're very territorial. And them two little squirrels, they're like attack squirrels, to tell you the truth. I mean, they don't really attack other squirrels, but I mean, they're happy in that little house. I got some food there for them. And you know what? They love it and, you know, they keep the other squirrels away from my property, to tell you the truth. I was really amazed at how good they're, you know, they actually do that. But of course, some animals are very territorial. And they don't like other squirrels, you know, kind of getting in on their territory. And they got a pretty good thing going on in my backyard. And they want to keep it to themselves. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video of showing some squirrels. And how you can actually work with nature in a more positive way than always thinking, you know what, these are pests. we got to get rid of them. You know, and that kind of thing. If you work with them, I tell you what. It can work out better in your favor. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, and let's have some more fun. Cheers.